everybody rambling mike here gonna share the amazing five of wands with you today of course this is for my tarot enthusiasts so hope you brought your journals with you today i brought mine this is my page for five of wands i'm gonna share out of this i'm gonna share out of some other amazing books that i have as well and uh share with you some of my more favorite five of wands so here we go let me see what do we got here first oh this is out of the victorian romantic tarot by bubble studios and five of wands you know i call it the tussle card you know it's about uh the tussles in life not letting them tear you down but you know allowing them to build you up and we see them right here these these uh two are definitely having a tussle and the other ones are taking a look at it as well what else have we got here uh oh my steampunk my steampunk that i've trimmed because well i'm an old aquarian i like to take things out of the box but anyway there's the five of wands out of the steampunk. You see them right there. The old tussle card. Fives are about contrast. All of the fives are about contrast, but followed up by the sixes with harmony and all of that. What do we got here? Oh, my alchemical Robert M. Place. Five of wands. Who doesn't love that five of wands, huh? The old fingers on fire there. What else we got? Oh, my Barbara Ray. How do, how do, I don't think anybody knows how to say this guy's name right. Um, let me see. The Barbier. The Barbier, which I've trimmed. The Barbier Tarot. Um, he's the same artist that I use. Uh, when I do my Sunday fun days, this is the Barbier Zodiac cards. Amazing artist. He has a tarot deck and an oracle deck. I like this. Our little warriors down there just tussling away. What else we got? Oh, yes. The Tarot Royale. Mr. Marchetti's Five of Wands. Stunning. Love it. Love this guy's work. And top row, I have my city of Prague. It's beautiful. Five of wands. It'll tussle right there. It's a nice card. Oh, the studios again. Ah, I love this, huh? The um, Deviant Moon. That one's fun. Five of Wands. The Tussle card. This is uh, from my Gendron Tarot. That is the name of the artist. I do believe it's out of print. Probably has been for a while. Five of Wands. You see him right there. I like the little uh, wolfie that's looking at the little mouse. Like, you know, I could get that little mouse, but I'm not. I like it. Five of Wands from the Gendron. I hope I say her name right. That's her last name of that artist. And uh, my Starman Tarot. Love this thing. It's amazing. This is the large limited edition one. Five of Wands. Definitely a tussle going on there. I like to set these up here so that you can watch these while I read out of the books and all of that. Huh? So here we go, get your journals out. Nice thing about a video like this is that you can pause it, write down in your journal, turn it back on, pause it, write in your journal. You can come visit them many times you want. And thank you for all your support and all your likes and all your donations, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all of that. Because these aren't for everybody, these are for my tarot enthusiasts. So here we go, I'm gonna read out of a book. Five of Wands. The highest aspect the Five of Wands represents training, action, 
or competition sports, which will improve skills for the future. It represents the growth you experience when facing and overcoming challenges and confronting peers. This confrontation brings out the best of you without fear of losing or not being good enough. On a more negative side, the card is a clash with no end, a conflict from out of nowhere and without purpose that leads to the depletion of energy. Magically speaking, we can look at the Five of Wands and note how the five figures are about to step together and create the shape of the pinnacle with their sticks. And that shows that right here in my journal. I have, uh, this is the, let me get this up here by you. This is the um, uh, Radiant. And you can see how the pinnacle's right there. And then that's the Robert Wood. These old ones definitely have that. Where you can see the possibility of the pinnacle being formed. Because, you know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. I like in the Terra Illuminati, which I've trimmed right here, how the Five of Wands are definitely kind of making the zigzag lightning bolt, kind of like what's on the tower. So, you know, it can go either way. So I always use contrast. You know, contrast is supposed to be our friend. It's supposed to show us what we don't want so that we can distract from it, not put our energy into it, and set our intentions about what we do want to manifest. That's really what Five of Wands is about for me. Let's look at some traditional upright meetings for the Five of Wands. Stimulated combat or strenuous competition. The battle for wealth and fortune. The struggle of life. A group of people working up, a group of people worked up over drama. Competition, strengthening character, and preparing to face life's challenges. A period of intense action. Opposition to ideas. Conflict in career or work. Friendly fighting. Contest and competition. Testing and training. Overcoming difficulties to better yourself. Overcoming others. Conflict leading to opportunity to grow and prove yourself. Challenge, a return to instability after a period of peace. Destruction, leading to creativity and innovation. A demonstration of skill, a test, ritual or symbolic battle. A conceptual or figurative fight, putting oneself in dangerous or uncertain situations, a rekindling of passion or purpose due to having something to fight for slash against, uncertainty and instability, destructive forces, chaotic forces. Let's look at a couple of traditional meanings. For five of wands in the reverse. Fix my gen drawn right there, huh? Hold this up here so you can look at it. Quarrels, disputes, deceit, victory after conquest. Everyone is calm. Passion dissipates. The fight is over. All players have returned home. The end of struggle. 
being unwilling to take on a challenge, becoming lazy instead of taking action, inability to grow or change due to fear, not having the energy to fight, contentment as the enemy of innovation, emptiness, empty contests, and sh showmanship. A couple of buzzwords for negatively aspected or the reversed five of wands. Diversity, conflict, avoidance, I like this, agreeing to disagree. Nice. All right, some buzzwords, and I got a good bit of them right here for the five of wands and the upright. Imagination, simulation, training, fighting, rivalry, action, strife, rashness, competition, challenge, struggle, game, skirmish, turmoil, commotion, disagreement, competition, tension, conflict, battle, testing, contest, I like this one, battle of wills, that's really what it's about for me, war, aggression, um, I got some notes here in my journal, it is interesting to note that all the fives of the tarot depict some sort of imbalance, conflict, testing, or sudden upheaval, but they are followed by the sixes, which bring some sort of rebalancing, harmony, and peace. Yeah, man. Astrologically, Five of Wands is Saturn in Leo, and the Golden Dawns Society's name for Five of Wands is Lord of Strife. All right, I got a little poem for you from this little gem. Comes in the Terra Luminati kit. Kim Huggins right here. I love Kim Huggins. A little poem. It's like the Five of Wands talking to us. Five of Wands, the test of contest. Contentment is an enemy that dulls the mind and blunts the sword. Peace is the enemy of progress. Without something to fight against, we become complacent, taking everything for granted. The reality is that we live in a harsh world that exacts a harsh price and demands only the best from us, or at least it should. Conflict and contest tests us and forces us to excel above ourselves and others. When we put our bodies through the rigors of practice, patience, experience, and discipline, we not only know our strengths, but also develop them. When we stretch our wills and energy beyond our expectations, they grow just like the muscles of the body. It, it is said that to live in interesting times is to cause a burden, but it's only a blessing. May you be given the opportunity to test yourself. May you have the chance to prove yourself. May you live in interesting times. 
Five of Wands, the test of contest. Hope you guys are enjoying these. I know I am. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.